film the geese. Hello, geese. Hello. All right, we're at Heritage Park. Going fishing. It's gorgeous out today. Hubby's trying to find a good fishing spot. There's literally dogs everywhere. What more could you ask for? Oh, and there's ice cream over there. I mean, come on, ice cream. Absolutely beautiful. And so is he, even though he needs a haircut. There's a mill over there. I've never been here, so I'm gonna have to go check all this out. Right now, I'm just gonna annoy my husband for a while. I can't see my freak. Oh my goodness, there's a turtle. Oh, that's my phone. We're a Catholic school. Luth oh, St. John's Lutheran Church. That's on Telegraph Road. Interesting, but this is a really old building. Very cool steeple. And it's right, they have it right next to the lake here. You can see a boat in the window. Everything's closed right now because of COVID. It's really cool. There's an old pump. And then here's the front of the Heritage Taylor Schools. Pretty cool. It's even got the bell tower still. Really? Coming around these corner and I see these fingers. Oh my gosh. So this is, place is closed. I just said that, right? So I come around the corner and this is what I see. Oh my God, that was horrifying. Oh my gosh. And look, there's another one. Oh my gosh, freaky. Okay, we're at the mill. Free family fun, whatever that means. Let's check it out from the other side. So cool. Sorry for my unsteady hand, you guys. I know I'm wobbly anyway. And I don't have my hand held with me. I should have brought it with me. It's pretty cool. I'm sure it was something back in the day. There's goslings. <laughs> We're now approaching the oldest structure built in Taylor, Michigan. It was built circa 1850 and it was built on Pennsylvania Road between Telegraph and Beach Daily. It's really cool. Let's go be nosy. Go inside. Can't go inside, but we can look inside. Oh, there's chicken wire. That's never fun. Chicken wire, stupid chubby is on that dock over there. Fishing away. Checking out Belleville's boat ramp. We're not boating today. We're just nosy and like to look at boats. We're just like boating. <laughs> Who haven't put our boat in yet? We gotta get our boat finished first. That red boat over there is crazy. I wonder what horsepower engine it has on it. Oh, I don't know. This is the lake we most often and come to Belleville Lake and we put our boat in and fish. There's a lot of good fishing here. Right next to this lake, going this way down this way, is Ford Lake and that's where my parents live. And they have boats, they have two boats too. So we're out on the water quite a bit and I can't wait to take you on those adventures. It goes to the Crown Line, whatever it is. We think it has a cabin. It's pretty sweet. That's been ripping through the water right now, and I don't know where they're going, but they are sure in a hurry. Oh my goodness. We may have a runner up for nice boat award of the day. This poor guy's broke down right in front of the. Yeah, he's having a heck of a time. I feel for him. Nice boat. Yeah, that's a fast boat there. That's a very fast.
progressed on the boat. I've got some of the seats installed, the bimini top. He's laid the carpet in the middle now. It looks great. I'm showing off your work. It's got new tires on the trailer. It's getting there. Hey, coming at you again with absolutely no content. <laughs> but hey, I suppose as we proceed, I will have more content. But So update on my daughter. It sounds like um, so far that she's going to be able to keep that baby. Yay. Boy, I look frazzled today. Anyway, and dun 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 dun. Found out 99.9% .9 sure it is a boy. Woo! so excited. So um, I have two biological daughters and I have two stepdaughters. So a boy is like, I'm so ready for this. I'm ready. I'm excited. I can't wait to be a grandma. And I finally figured out what I'm going to call myself. <laughs> I'm going to go by AMA. A-M-M-A. It is Old Norse for grandma. And I am, uh, what, 64% Norwegian, if you can't tell by the crazy curly hair and pale skin. And another thing you can't tell from the camera is I'm 5'10". I'm like literally a giant. So anyway, sounds like I'm still going to be a grandma. I'm going to be Amma to a grandson and I cannot wait I cannot wait it's amazing how much um, my daughter's life has turned around just since November 2019 it's, it's just like beyond exciting and I cannot wait to meet my grandson